Bandai. You're kind of making me hate you. What's going on there everybody, I'm Shin Rob Jira, and today I'm going to be talking about the heavy paint application version of the Bandai Movie Monster series Heavy Arms Kiryu reissue figure. This version of Heavy Arms Kiryu was released on November 3rd to coincide with Godzilla's 66th anniversary. If you don't know why, you should watch Godzilla yeah. against Mechagodzilla 2002. That'll explain everything. So of course, Bandai show Rob Jira over here had to secure himself a copy and... I'm not upset that I did, but <laughs> let's just let's just get started. Ugh. All right, so right off the bat, under the right amount of lighting, this guy looks exquisite. Oh, the wiring is painted, the titties is painted, the shade between the titties is painted, the neck is painted even better. The amount of shading, the amount of just about everything on this figure looks amazing. I am instantaneously impressed. It is practically unfair just how great this figure looks head on. All the shading by the bottom of the neck, in between the pectorals, in between this little area right here. Something we couldn't even dream on seeing on the original figure. We've got shading over here, finally! There's so much done from the eyes to the mouth to the neck to the titties to the mid-center over here that it, it, it's just overwhelming just how much better this figure looks. We've got ample amounts of shading over here, over over here, over here, over here, all along the arm over here. And a nice important detail, Bandai actually painted the hose going from the blaster to under Kiryu's arm. What? And yes, I am absolutely going to gush at the thrusters over here actually being painted. It is superb. And believe it or not, it's exactly like that on the other side. Shading here, shading here, shading here, shading here, shading all along over here, all along the arm. The shading starts and stops in the exact same place. Did, did, did Bandai do it? Did, did they do it? The answer is no. But we'll get to it. So this area over here wasn't painted on the original re-release. Everything below it really was. The big draw over here from the waist down is going to be on the thighs. And yes, the thighs are beautifully, beautifully shaded. They're not heavy handed. One's not darker than the other. It's kind of perfect. Just just look at that, the weathering on there is, oh, it's so, so good. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Kiryu looks like he's been used. It looks like he's been through some battles in this format. It is really, really nice. I mean, take a closer look at this, man. Just look at that. Oh, Bandai, you spoil me. You really do. Oh, <laughs> The toes are properly painted up over here, looking really, really nice, nice and shaded. Now for you eagle-eyed viewers out there, <laughs> you're probably looking between Kiryu's legs to see... Oh my god, they painted the wiring in between the two! <laughs> okay, yeah, I have to calm down, but this does look very, very nice. It's a little messy in some areas, but I think that actually aids in making Kiryu look used, essentially. I mean, look at that right from the base all along to the... <laughs> I know the neck was painted on the previous version, but just look at this. Look at the weathering on the neck right there. I don't care if that's an effect of spraying stuff on. Just look at that. It looks so good. So, so very good. Okay, enough gushing. It's time to do that comparison. Heavy paint, heavy arms Kiryu actually looked like he could have walked off the screen, to be completely honest. As compared to this guy, who also does look like he could have walked off of screen as well. But this one looks nice, like I said earlier, and used. It looks like Kiryu's been through the ringer a couple of times, and I enjoy that. It's like we have the perfect version and the battle-worn version. I can get behind that. Just looking at the arms over here, everything that is present over here is over here, but it just feels so much better because it is being brought out. Sure, this thing under the right amount of light is going to look very, very nice, but here it's accentuated upon. It's really got like a 3D effect to it because it feels like it's actually something that's being lit, even though it technically kind of is being lit under photography lights. Oh, God damn it. You understand where I'm coming from, I'm sure, I hope. Even when it comes to the legs, the thighs even, this is just crazy. Absolutely 
crazy. The difference, it's just, it's nuts. I know that I'm really going off and not saying anything negative about it because believe me, there's still some negative stuff to say about this thing. But I really do want to get all the positives out of the way now. Okay, I've been looking at this shot for a couple of seconds now and I have determined that this is actually paint. That was painted. That's amazing. I really didn't think it was painted. I thought it was all just the angle of the lighting and everything. But no matter which way you look at it, no matter which way you look at it at all, that's painted. That's nuts. Since we're talking about the head, you can see that the teeth are actually painted as well. Maybe a little bit too heavy-handedly, but Kiryu does have a laser shooting out of his mouth, so I imagine there will be scorch marks somewhere. Not to use this same angle again, but I have to talk about it. The paint on the thrusters over here, I absolutely love it. The paint on the backpack over here, absolutely love it. One of my main complaints with the original is that it is just mainly silver. They really didn't try and do anything crazy with it. Sure, some of the wires were painted in the front but that was pretty much it so everything that i was complaining about in this sector on the original figure has been fixed over here and i still can't believe that this was painted that's 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 just nuts to me really honestly nuts to me can't believe it's a thing Holy heck. Another area painted on this figure that wasn't painted on the original is this protrusion right here. It's painted and it looks great. It's just painted on one side though. The other side is, uh, oh, oh, okay. Of all the things that are different and an improvement amongst the two, the one thing that has been kept exactly the same is the back. Most of that beautiful shading, weathering, on the new figure is on the front. Just the front. Bandai has literally sold you a house that they said that they have completely furnished, but they've only furnished the first two rooms in the front of the house while the rest are completely left to sh Okay, that might be a little bit too overdramatic, but this is where the griping begins, so... Buckle up, friends and neighbors. So they bothered to paint the one area over here on the new figure, where nothing was painted at all. But they only painted the one area. They didn't bother with the back of the foot over here, the Achilles tendon, nothing like that. They didn't even paint this. You saw that already. But there is clear paint over here. They didn't bother with this, and they didn't bother with that. Something that was entirely present on the original figure. Albeit it's much better looking over here than it is over here. But I digress, because there's more. <laughs> so you see how great this looks with that shading right there? You see how nice it is? They only really got it on the front and that's perfectly fine. There ain't nothing on the back. Nothing at all. No shading behind. No shading on the dorsal fins. No shading on the back at all. You can see where they started painting the tangents and where they stopped painting the tangents. Oh, Bandai, you were so close. <sighs> Now on the original figure, no part of the tail was painted. None of the wiring, nothing. On this new figure though, starting at the base and going to about just midway, the wires are painted and then they just stop. Now I could forgive here to here, cause that's really, really tiny. But seriously, you couldn't paint these three rows like at all. It's like that on the other side too. But you know what really did surprise me in a positive note? The fact that they actually painted the bottom of the tail. I honestly was surprised when I saw that this was existing on a $30 exclusive figure, I was surprised. But seeing this, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. See now, personally, I wasn't expecting something like the inside of the arm to be weathered. I wasn't even expecting the inside of the thighs and legs to be weathered, but they kinda are. I wasn't even expecting the toes to be weathered, but they are. But seriously, Bandai? You paint this, but you can't paint that, that, and that? Bandai, why? I know technically it's a different version of Bandai and it's a bigger figure, but Bandai America painted the back of the shins. Bandai Japan, why can't you do that? Is it so hard? Yes, I've been making a stink about how the figure is mostly only painted on the front side and some parts of the back side, but for the most part, I do enjoy this figure. I do enjoy it a hell of a lot more than this version, that's for sure. But does that really say anything though? Like, does it 
does that really like mean anything at this point? It's like Bandai, you went through the trouble of doing all of this, all of this. I know nobody's going to technically be looking at the backs of your figures, but come on, man. At least finish out painting these areas, that area, add something to the back at least a little bit. This was $12 at release. This is 30 plus. I don't know, man. Like I I'm starting to like really kind of get fed up with this. And I've got another repainted figure coming in rather soon. Wink. Anyways, here's the comparison of the two tags. They're exactly the same, except one is red and the other one is fully colored. They will be exactly the same on both sides, except the inside of this tag will be red, much like the outside, and the inside of this tag will be black. Not to add more Diablo sauce to the burrito or anything like that, but shouldn't this say 66 years of celebration, not 65 since this was released during the Godzilla Fest celebrating 66 years of Godzilla? Did they just not have a logo made in time? I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Now the paint is mostly different, but the articulation is wholly the same. Swivel at the head. Arms can go all the way around. Nothing at the legs. Nothing at the waist, swivel at the tail. And that's it. I don't think the Heavy Paint Apps version of Kiryu is a bad release from Bandai. In fact, I like it enough to consider getting the Heavy Paint application version of King Ghidorah 2019. But it does honestly feel that Bandai is starting to care less and less about the Movie Monsters series line. I know they're more so gearing it for smaller children at this point, but that's kind of f***y. At least it is to me at this point. It's like, Bandai, you're aware that adults collect your Movie Monster series releases too, right? And you have the gall to call this an exclusive and up the price on it and not paint it the entire way through? If this were SH Monster Arts, people would be up in flames about this. Completely different line, completely different factory, I guess, but still, that just feels off to me. I don't know. I really, really don't mean to be coming off so negatively, especially as a Bandai fanboy. Especially, especially since the Bandai stuff is my main form of collecting. I really don't mean to come off negative with this. I really, really don't. Because I do like this figure. I do. But I feel like I could like it more. And I feel like paying $30, which is like 25 bucks extra plus tags, for a figure that's called Heavy Paint Apps, but yet the back of the figure and half of the tail remains unpainted that just feels like kind of dastardly bandai like that doesn't feel cool at all but i digress where this figure is awesome it's extremely awesome where this figure massively improved over the original it massively improved it's just this lazy face up face down card technique that bandai did with this figure just really rubs me the wrong way especially considering you can see what a major contrast it is between the two sides of the figure it's almost a crime how untouched the back of the figure is. But again, even with all this negativity, I totally like the way that one looks more than the way this one does because this one has effort. Maybe minimal effort, but more effort than this. Because again, all the alternate color is going to be here, 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 and here. That's it. Meanwhile, on this version, you're gonna get it all over here. And a much more accurate and cleaner look. So would I suggest Heavy Paint Apps Heavy Arms cure you? The answer, unfortunately, is no. I would not suggest going for the eBay prices that this thing is probably going to be ridiculously going for. And I actually don't suggest wasting your money on it. I always have something great to say about Bandai because they always put a great foot forward and they have with this figure, but I'm just a little let down that the back half of the figure wasn't painted. I know that probably sounds extremely petty or kind of childish, but it's getting to the point where I really don't think Bandai cares anymore. And you know what? I hope I'm wrong. I hope when the Godzilla singular point figures finally get unveiled, they look freaking amazing, detailed, and painted to Christ. I hope the Godzilla vs. Kong figures look amazing. Although looking at the KOTM figures, I wouldn't keep my hopes up for that. But I love to be proven wrong, especially when it comes to Bandai figures. And right now, I'm really hoping for a miracle. I'm really hoping that Bandai can get it together and can get it together soon. But anyway, let's cut back to my face and finish this up. Paint where it counts, pain where it wanes. Ugh.
The figure absolutely looks leagues better than the original reissued release, but it still suffers from that hilariously lazy backside. And the sad and equally as unfortunate modern day Bandai practices. I don't know what's going on over there, man. But anyway, thank you so much to my patrons who have subscribed to my Patreon page. It truly does mean a lot. That Patreon page and all my social media will be linked in the description below. You can even get yourself some swanky Shin Rob Jira duds down there. Even some holiday ones, too. I think old Shin Rob Jira is going to take a bit of a break after this because doing two videos back to back is not what it used to be. So Shin Rob Jira vacation mode activate. I don't know what I'm doing, and I will see you all with my next video, which I'm not even going to joke myself, is probably going to be next Friday. <laughs> Have a lovely holiday weekend, everybody.